how are you taking that you, you lost and people are rejoicing? Well, um, here again, as some people are rejoicing, some are crying also. Because some of those who are rejoicing may be rejoicing because they've been out of power and they've been pushing to look through the door to see how they'll get there for eight years and it's not been possible and some of them felt lost out in the scheme of things and maybe that was time for them to, you know. So we know how these things work in politics. Mm. If, if you want me to raise people who are weeping, you'll also see them weeping. The PDP candidate, has he agreed with you not to go to court? That was my advice as now, a statesman, to uh, those who ran election in my state institution. I said, well, uh, somebody took me to talk court for three and a half years, and I felt thoroughly distracted. Uh, because my first tenure of four years, you spent three and a half, removed twice. Uh, high court removed me, a big court removed me, and all of that. And I said, can we come to a closure? Can you people find a way to allow this guy who's been declared to um, find time to talk about what he wants to do for Abia because he applied for the job for eight years and now the opportunity has come. Can we let him uh, give him some space? Um, so that was my advice. And um, incidentally, the um, APC candidate thought otherwise, and I think he has gone to the Unfortunately, too, the, the, the Labour Party that was supposed to be the beneficiary of this my piece of advice are also contesting against the candidates of PDP that won 11 seats in the House of Assembly. You know, so that has thrown Spana in. Let me get your reaction to Professor Oti's statement. That's, she said she was heavily induced. Uh, to uh, manipulate the result of the election. And uh, easily, your opponent, who are point, pointing out accusing fingers, they're already making inference of uh, those who could be possible, who could possibly be inducing the woman. This is very unfortunate. I have not met that professor before. And um, I, I, I am shocked. Because in the first place, I think she is, if she's a professor really, she should know that she doesn't even have the capacity to manipulate results. Because these are results that must have emanated from the units, collected at the ward, collected at the local government, and brought to, for, for her to just add them up and announce. I have not met her before, I have not spoken to her. If, if uh, I have met her, if I have spoken to her, let her come to the public and declare so. So I'm shocked that she's uh, making a big noise out of uh, nothing. The only thing was that at some point when I saw the coincidence in them and traced a little bit of her background, I complained to INEC that this lady was not going to be fair. But they told me that, uh, they assured me that they profiled her, but I, uh, I, 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 I'm still shocked. And what she has betrayed in the aftermath of her uh, service, uh, or stewardship in Abia indicates the fact that she is visibly uh, happy with what she did, which means she, uh, her level of bias in that regard could be uh, uh, placed uh, in favor of one party or another. You don't think that she did right? Well, she has betrayed that uh, she had something uh, at the back of her mind, the mindset of her own before she came. But for me, um, that'd be it. What would you ascribe to the loss of your party in Abia State? Well, many, many factors. My, my party did not put their art together. I, as a person, did not campaign against I did not. I did not campaign against him because I was of the opinion that presidency should go to the south. But as a party man, immediately we arrived at the candidate. The next thing was, well, what do we tell the south? Can we get the national chairman back so that we can have 
something on the table which you can campaign, and um, that wasn't to come also. So it became a difficult thing to stand on the podium and begin to campaign against somebody like Peter. So our party was weakened, run up to the election. And I lost a candidate. I had to replace my candidate. So I needed to also talk to a lot of people. And then uh, at some point also, um, my calculation politically um, did not fall through. But, but did you expect that the Peter B effect was going to be that huge to the extent yeah. that in two consecutive elections in the state, you lost, your party lost to the Labour Party. Yes, that, that P2B effect, um, I predicted it and I told my party, I even uh, volunteered this same opinion that um, reasonable politicians should not ignore what P2B was doing. Could, I mean, do you think that the P2B effect could, has a, has a brighter future oh. I, after now? It's, it's not for me to to determine because pretty much that will happen going forward will depend on how P2B manages the groundswell of support he has garnered. Um, how is he going to funnel this towards an agenda that can eventually materialize in his dream? Um, that is his remit, that is his business. Do you regret being part of the G5 Governors Pact? Or never. In fact, I think that's. Um, um, one of the most brilliant positions I've taken as a politician. And the risk that came out of it? Oh, certainly. I, I, I you know, uh, any day. I mean, for any those day. who say that uh, El Paso has not lost election in this manner before, you lost two consecutive elections, you lost... If, uh, if, if that is the sacrifice for my principled position, that is okay. Was that in the interest of the people of your state? No, but that was in the interest of the unity of Nigeria. For those who say it was disloyalty and a public uh, rebellion against your political party which gave you a platform, but how first, do you, what first, do you say to that? First, loyalty to one Nigeria, loyalty to United Nigeria. If tomorrow, after a southern president, I'll be one of those who will say it is turn of the north and I'll do the same thing. So do you agree with the election of Bala Tinobu? To the extent that he is from southern Nigeria, I think that part of what we need to unite Nigeria has been presented to us. Going forward, how he manages it is also another conversation. Was he, was Balatinubu part of the arrangement within the G5? Oh, never. No, no, no. His no. matter never came up? No, 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 no. Part of what I was doing as a person in G5 was to open the window for conversation, because my late father told me, for whatever reason, you must remain on the negotiation table. You never leave the table. So I kept telling my people, can we find a way to find a solution? There was a time, since we cannot change the candidates, can we do an internal arrangement to get the national chairman to the south, so that people can begin to campaign in the south with something? But. For me, as a person, I, my tolerance threshold can take a little bit of arrogance. But for some people, they can't take arrogance. So it continues. So where was this arrogance coming from? Oh, that we can, we can go the whole hog without you. We can do this without this. We can do, you know, and it's not... Is it from the candidate, the presidential candidate of your party? Well, or where is the arrogance? Because Nigerians, I mean, you politicians, you know, the, you know pretty much what is going on. No, 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 the first, but in plain terms, see, where is the arrogance coming from? The, the, the mechanics that was driving our party at that time betrayed this arrogance. It's not about one person or the other, but the mechanics, the organism betrayed this arrogance that we can do this that we can do this. And the G5 wanted to show them that not necessarily that want, narrative not, work. Not, not necessarily wanted, wanting to show anybody. But the G5 was saying, part of what we need in this country, if you ask me as a person, and I, if I have the privilege of volunteering advice to whosoever is, is the president of this country, my advice would be, invest your time in unifying Nigeria. Invest your time in bringing everybody on board, not South, Ishekiri, Ibo, Awosa, Fufude, 
youth, women, everybody on the table. It is our country. And once you do that, we can find capacity to deal with insecurity. We can find people with capability to deal with the economy. We can find people to solve all our problems going forward. But the first thing to do is to break down these walls of disunity and mistrust. Can we hold the hand of one another again once again to say, this is our country? What do you make of a Tinobu as a president? I don't understand your question. I mean, is your, the G5, stood for a southern governor? I mean, a southern president. Mm -hmm. But Bola Tinobu has emerged as a president-elect. In his capacity and the kind of person that he is, what do you make of him leading this country in terms of capacity, in terms of uh, abilities? If I want to answer your question directly, I must take a cue from perhaps what he has done before and um, his relationship with people. I think he has a fair chance, but what he makes out of it is also entirely his remit. Because, but he is coming from a place that is a bit weaker than where the incumbent president started off in 2015. Because the incumbent president had goodwill, enormous goodwill. People gave him a lot of goodwill up front that he was going to get things right. Um, and the hope was there, lined up behind him, he was going to get things right. So, uh, uh, President Bola Tinubu is not coming with that much of goodwill capital, but he can still surprise a lot of uh, pessimists. I think that going forward, we should give him a chance. I listened to your last guest, and I love one of the things he said, which is that this country is so huge and important to all of us that we cannot abandon this country just because Baz lost senatorial election, or my party lost gubernatorial election. We must find a way to dredge up hope from this despondency to march forward. It's about service. All right. So uh, I'd like to come to Abia governance now, but this G5 alliance and your participation in that alliance, um, is there any regret for you? Would you do this again? If, you, if there was a need for it? Yes. Like I said before, after a southern presidency, I'll be one of those who will say it is turn of the north. Or was there anything that you thought that could have been done differently? You mean in my party? Or Within the G5, the manner of approach, what you guys did? I, I, think, I think that um, we, we, we gave sufficient latitude and window for that matter. So meetings were held in Nigeria, outside Nigeria. Um, engagements were led, conversations were held. And the bottom line was, can you give members of the South something to campaign with? To enable me to stand on the podium and campaign for my party alongside as Tinubu as, as uh, P2B was But campaigning. all of these did not work. Who would you blame for that? Like I said before, the, 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 the mechanics, the, 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 whatever drives the party, betrayed a lot of arrogance. Mm. We, and when, when, a, when a man is full of confidence, and that is when he is also open for